What I liked the most about the Legislative Fellowship Program was the opportunity to go to our roundhouse and learn how policy is made. We were really able to see the process of bills was being passed. It gave me a chance to look into a new career path that I could follow after I graduate here from New Mexico Highlands. What I liked about the Legislative Fellowship that I am a participant of is it really helped me expand my knowledge as student body president. As someone who serves the constituents of New Mexico Highlands University, I really got to see how that plays out. What I liked about the shadowing Senator Stefanics was that I really got to see how her interaction with other senators really pushed bills one way or another. What I most enjoyed about shadowing uh, my representative Ferrari was how tangible uh, actual policy is and just being able to be on the floor, seeing how the process is made um, throughout committees and throughout the day. What I learned about the experience in attending this legislative fellowship was that you really have to have a strong backbone and you have to learn how to remain authentic throughout the whole process. A lot of the senators that we spoke with, that was one of their key points was that they had to balance that authenticity and still manage to problem solve for the needs that their constituents brought to their attention. What I most enjoyed about meeting the governor and other representatives was how simple and easy it was to talk to them. There are, you know, community members just like us who really care uh, to make our community a better place. While sitting down with these representatives, they gave us so much advice and so many cool insights on how to get to where they are or how to just pers persevere through our own career choices. I would definitely recommend this program to other students who are interested in seeing how the process works. How I think other students would benefit from this program um, would be that if you're looking for an experience where you can learn more about the policy in our state, how you can make an impact, how it all works, this is definitely a safe space to learn all of that and really gain an experience uh, that is very rare for any student. That as a social worker, um, it's in our ethics that we be responsible for social policy, that it's all around us. And so the more we make ourselves aware of the legislative process, the better we'll be, um, both as social workers in the profession, but also as community members. What I would tell a student who's thinking about joining this uh, program next semester is that it's a very serious learning experience. You get to sit down with professionals who have been in their career path for over years, and you get to ask them questions and they give you advice on how to persevere in your own career path, not necessarily just the legislative. I would definitely recommend this program to anyone who's interested in becoming a future leader. And a lot of a lot of people misconceptualize that it's only lawyers or people who are in politics who are the, the people who are eligible to serve in these positions. But being in this position really opened my eyes that as long as you're someone who's willing to make a change, um, then you have the right to go and be in these positions just like everybody else, especially here in New Mexico. One of the things that I noticed was that a lot of senators a lot of representatives and people who serve New Mexico in particular are actually educators. They weren't your average lawyer or doctor or someone who knew someone. It was someone who started from the grounds up. And that's something that I would like to relate to everyone. That is, you don't have to be the stereotypical leader. You can be a leader just by wanting to make a difference.